Hey guys, what's up? It's Monkozaki. So, I decided to do something pretty drastic, and uh, some of you might not be too happy about this. I myself, I guess, somewhat regret it a little, but not really. And I'll talk a little bit about why um, I sold my PVM tab in a bit. And uh, you'll see how much money I got for it. So, I made roughly around 200 mil strictly from PVMing and nothing else. And then um, all the money past that was from Slayer. And I didn't do a whole lot of Slayer. It was only about five days of Slayer, and I made quite a bit of money from those five days of Slayer. You'll see just how much I made uh, at the end of the video, of course. I don't want to ruin the surprise. And for those impatient of you, you can just skip to the end of the video, and you'll see how much I made. But anyway, I did get several drops, and you'll just see me sell them throughout the video. Um, most of the drops went down in price quite a bit since I got them, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, one of the gloves that I got from Automatons crashed like 10 mil almost, and um, the Glacier boots crashed a lot, and the Armadillo Battle Staff crashed a lot as well. So if I had sold those drops when I got them, I would have made more. But we're not going to regret that too much, um, because I did make quite a bit of money from PVMing. And in the future, I'm going to try to build up a Slayer tab as well. And I'll also just keep all the PVM drops that I get just in that Slayer tab, because, let's face it, I'm not going to do a ton of PVM. Um, although I did do a little bit of PVMing earlier today, and I did get a drop. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to record the drop, because when I got the drop, I had like... 5 FPS or something, it was crazy how laggy, how laggy I was, um, but I did get a drop earlier today, and I might touch on that a little bit in a future vlog, but uh, anyway, I decided, yeah, just to sell this because uh, I wanted some money, I was running a bit low on cash, I had been around 30 mil cash, I don't desperately need the money for anything yet, but I will in the near future, um, if you don't know too much, um, I do... I know a lot of players that once they're maxed in Completionist Cape, you know, and they have all the buyable skills done, they want to spend their money to get the best gear in the game, so they buy stuff like neck sets and, um, you know, good boots and gloves like the Glacier boots and the Automaton gloves and stuff like that. Um, that's not who I am. I prefer to keep my gear as uh, low price as possible while still um, maintaining effectiveness, so that's why I PVM in Bandos instead of, you know, getting necks sets, and as soon as I can um, get the Tetsu from the ports, I'll be using that to PVM as well. But just for the moment, I do PVM and stuff in relatively cheap gear, and that's not because um, I'm super cheap and refuse to spend money on anything, that's just because I have slightly different priorities than other people. So I prefer to spend my money on XP, that's just the kind of player I am. Um, it's not because I'm super stressed about my high scores rank or anything like that. It's more just because um, I do kind of want to go for 200 mils in the future, and I am somewhat going for 200 mils already, but after I get the completion escape, I'm definitely going to be going for a couple 200 mils, and uh, most likely in viable skills, just because um, getting a 200 mil in the gathering skill that's incredibly slow to train isn't really my cup of tea. Uh, I'd much rather get a 200 mil in a skill that is, you know, four times faster to train per hour, uh, and then just PVMing for the money that requires to train that skill. So at the moment, I am kind of doing farm runs every single day, and I have been doing you and papaya runs, so um, I would like to upgrade as soon as I'm out of you and papaya saplings to doing magic and palm runs, because that's going to be a lot faster, um, and I feel like that's just going to be a lot better and keep me more motivated to train farming. Um, so as soon as my you and papaya seeds run out, I'm going to be buying um, magic and sap magic and palm seeds, and those of course are extremely expensive to stock up on, so I'm going to need a lot of money for that. Um, and that's just what I like to spend my money on, so don't comment, you know, that's such a waste of money, what are you doing, you fool. Um, that's just what I prefer to do. But uh, anyway, yeah, so I have to make some money for that. Um, I am making, you know, a fair amount of money over time with Slayer, because I still do slay by, you know, picking up all the drops and trying to prioritize money making as much as I can without sacrificing too much on the XP per hour. Here in the video, I'm selling some of the bigger drops, so I guess I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, I have my Steadfast boots, my Rage Fire boots, my four Sears rings that I got. They're, like, uh, the second cheapest ring from Dagonoth King, so I don't know why I had to get so many of those. And my uh, Solitary Berserker and Archer rings. And also I have a ton of Onyx bolts. I think I had nearly 10 mil worth of Onyx bolts. Um, those are just from Corp and from Nex. Uh, so I got a fair amount of those. And as you can see, those um, 
those gloves that I got, the magic gloves, I forget what they're called, the static gloves, that's it, uh, they were only 15 mil, and when I got them, they were 24 mil, so they dropped a lot. But yeah, I made 248 mil for my PVM tab. Two hundred, Just about exactly 200 mil of that was from PVMing, and the rest, so about 48 mil was from Slayer. So I made about 48 mil from Slayer in a week. That is not bad at all, so Slayer is not terrible money. And here is just a price check of my entire bank. This is the highest value that my bank has ever been, um, and it took a lot of work to get that. It's not like I, you know, went dicing for a day and made this much money. Uh, the majority of this much of this money is from Slayer and PVM, and I did do a ton of farm runs in the past. I haven't been doing that as much lately, but that's what I made money from, and also a lot of merching. Again, I don't merch uh, as of late, but I have done that a lot in the past. So 500 and. 31.5 mil, highest value my bank has ever been, and I'm pretty proud of that. Anyway, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I hope to see you again soon in future videos.